product presentation demonstrates a typical workflow during the development of an electronic assembly and the integration of the design environment with ARENA PLM. First, we will create a new project with a new project command. And define the name and the local storage location of the project. When electronic designers start a new project, they begin with predefined templates. The XPLM integration enables the reuse of templates for circuit diagrams or PCB documents, including design rules. The templates and drawing frames can contain predefined parameters as placeholders. After working on a new project, a save is needed. We start the save process in the Arena PLM menu. The dialog box, which fades in, is the main cockpit for all actions related to creating, saving, and releasing design and manufacturing data. If not already done, PLM objects can now be created via the interface for all relevant objects in the PLM data model. Alternatively, they can be assigned via search. With the Select All button, all output options are checked. And by pressing the OK or Apply button, the PLM data model and all relations between the different objects are verified. A further important action is accompanying the whole process, the comparison between the ECAD bomb and the PLM bomb. RefDes bomb gives an overview of all assembly positions. Quantity bomb lists for each assembly variant the quantity of the different component types. Use the unreleased in PLM display to see all parts without a release status in PLM. The display option Unassigned Parts lists all components that exist in the current design project but have no entry in the ECAD library. The last tab lists all components with a status in PLM of a discontinued part. We confirm with OK and start uploading the bomb. Validation warning and error messages can be configured and inform the user about important or critical bomb aspects. Necessary information, like the number and the name of the project and the revision and status, are transferred to the title frames of the project. The output generation creates all information we checked in the Save to PLM dialog. Without an integration between an authoring tool and PLM, this process would be a time-consuming and error-prone task. With the integration, this becomes quite simple and can be operated by any electronic engineer in no time at all. In the Save dialog, we can directly access Arena PLM. By selecting the Show button in the Design section, the integration automatically redirects us to the corresponding document containing the native design data. This PDF contains all design schematics. By using the Show button in the PCB section of the Save dialog, we are automatically redirected to the document holding the manufacturing data in Arena PLM. Assembly variant-specific files were stored in Arena as well. You can view the bomb of the assembly variants in Arena PLM. The schematic engineer is implementing some changes in the assembly variant definitions. A new save to Arena PLM is necessary after design changes. This step is necessary because changes to the design that affect the schematics, the board, and the bomb have been made.
the user can create all data again or only select those which need an update in Arena PLM. In the dialog for the bomb comparison, we have full control about the actual and the previous uploaded bomb. It is now up to the user to upload the bomb or cancel the operation. Confirm with OK to perform a new upload. Now we're going to synchronize library parts with a menu entry, Synchronize Parts. Usually, electronic engineers define electronical parameters, like the value of a resistor or the tolerance of a capacitor, to their components in the ECAD library. Logistical parameters, like the release status, are available in Arena PLM. For each parameter, the direction of the synchronization can be individually configured according to the company's needs. This offers electronic engineers and other persons involved in the PLM workflow the most possible flexibility and full visibility on component parameters. Components can be organized in classes. You can select individual components inside a class and perform a synchronization. The part synchronization transmits information stored in one system to the other bidirectional. Part information can be opened in PLM from the user interface. The part number of a newly created part in the ECAD library is being transferred to the PLM system. The new created part number is now synchronized back to the ECAD library. It can also be opened in PLM. At this point, we have come to the end of the presentation of the integration between the design environment and Arena PLM. In case of further questions, please contact us via marketing at xplm.com or www.xplm.com.